And here in our area, of course, many are trying to find ways to help hurricane victims. WATE 6 on your side's Kristen Gallant found one woman who actually moved here after living through Hurricane Charlie several years ago. Now she's doing her best to give back. Lori, Elizabeth Drizzle lives in Knoxville but is from Florida. She has family and friends who've been impacted by the storm and is heading down there to Florida to try to help them as much as she can. I was born in Cape Coral, Florida, uh, which is where the hurricane has hit um, and caused a lot of destruction down there. It's right beside Fort Myers. Elizabeth Dressel and her mom moved to Tennessee right after Hurricane Charlie in 2004. I was probably in elementary school at that time, but I remember we were watching our neighbor's roof get ripped off of their house. She says going through that hurricane was traumatizing. Now Ian has ripped through her hometown. All of my family still lives there. My dad lives there. My sister is there. My brother is there. So they're all dealing with the aftermath currently. Um, they're saying that people are going to be without power down there for possibly months because the infrastructure is just so damaged. Contact with her family has been limited. So I've not been able to talk to them very much because cell service is really bad. My sister lives on Pine Island, um, which they've been talking about Matt Lachey and Pine Island on the news a little bit. Um, and she's actually stuck on the island because the road that leads to the bridge um, has actually completely collapsed and washed out. Her sister sending these photos of downed trees and boats in the road. Elizabeth says her family is just happy to be alive. She's packing her bags and heading down south to help. My plan is to actually drive down there on Monday. Um, I have a trailer that I'm trying to fill with supplies. So um, if anybody would like to donate, that's kind of my goal is to hopefully fill up this trailer with supplies. She's asking for water, flashlights, and gas cans. The majority of these items really are going to go to the people that need the most, and it's going to be distributed through my brother through the fire department. Elizabeth says she's nervous about seeing the damage in person, but is ready to get to work helping those impacted the most. It's devastating everything down there that's happened. So even just saying a prayer for these people means a lot. Elizabeth says she plans to leave on Monday. Elizabeth's job is actually an ICU nurse. She says the reason she's decided to go down there is because she just loves to help people. Lori. She has the right job for that. ICU nurse. We, we get it, and we're so happy she's doing that. Kristen, thank you so much. And if you would like to donate, we'll have her contact information for you at WATE.com. Again, all the items she's collecting will be distributed through the fire department her brother works for. It's the Tice Fire Department.